So I went back and I wanted to see if anyone had made an investment video and in investing in Pokemon boxes because that's what I was interested in at the time. And, you know, I found this old bo um, video where Rudy basically um, hoses. I mean, this dude, uh, Jade, who sold uh, his items for 70% what he bought at was selling... You know, let me, you know, do some quick math for you. Uh, he was selling Averton Restored for about 100 bucks. He was selling Battle for Zendikar at $77. He was selling Conspiracy Take the Crown at $42. He was selling Conspiracy at uh, $63. Dark Ascension at $70. Dragons of Tarkir at eight, uh, 85 times 70%, 50, $60. So this is the price that he paid, and when he sold to Rudy, he took a 30% loss. So you multiply these numbers by 0.7, and then you get the price that Rudy paid. And there's obviously multiple boxes. For instance, I think there's seven boxes of cons. Cons, he paid $99 a box. He sold to Rudy for $70 a box. Cons is currently $250 a box, meaning that from the sell point at seventy dollars a box to two hundred and fifty, um, that he lost. That's four hundred percent value increase, which he lost. So Rudy was able to experience that four hundred percent value increase while um, this poor Jade fella. I mean, he's got to be one of the worst investors. Um, you can go down the list, and again, these are not one or two boxes. This is a whole bunch of them. And uh, he has seven boxes of, let me just read you what I think I'm seeing here. From the vault is actually, he had like seven or eight from the vaults. And he bought them at $35, which is pretty close to MSRP. And he sells them for $21. No. Uh, 35 times $24. I mean, imagine getting from the vault for $24. I think it's from the vault realms, maybe. Uh, Fate Reforged, he bought for $76, which is a great buy right now. And he sold for $50. Bucks. Cons, I mean, cons is a really bad one. I mean, Fallen Empire is a really bad one. He bought for $109, which is a really great price. Because Fallen Empire is a $500 right now. And he sold for a loss for $77. Um, that's all to say that um, in terms of like winners or losers, I think this is the biggest loser I've ever seen. Uh, it, I, I haven't seen anything like this. I mean, it's baffling the amount of money this dude lost. Uh, if he just held the boxes for three more years, even if he sold the boxes for half, you know, half of it, you know, and I would sell like hotcakes, right, at that point. It is just so mind-boggling. I, I mean, I'm so... Wow. The power move Rudy pulled in this guy is just incredible. Like, obviously, like, if this happened to any of us, yeah, you should jump on this because, hey, that's a, that's a really good deal, guys. Um, that's a really, really good deal. And in terms of, like, how much uh, money... Rudy made from just this one dude selling boxes to him a lot of money. Uh, you don't even need to count. I mean, it's got to be in the tens of thousands, right? So, I don't know. It, it just seems like for every one Rudy, there's probably uh, 10,000 Jades losing money um, and just getting obliterated. Um... Just getting obliterated. And, and that's kind of sad, but at the same time, that's evolution, right? That's life. Um, when you are... I, I mean, it's sad. It definitely is sad for Jade. Because had he just held on a tiny bit longer, you know, a few more years, he would have made a killing. A killing. But instead, he took up 30% loss. I mean, the buy prices... The, the list of cards, the buy price, I would say it's fantastic, right? If you could buy Eldritch Moon at $68 today, or you could buy Conspiracy Take the Crown 
at $63 a day, you would just be like, wow, that's amazing. Or Contra Tech here at $99 a day, you would be like, wow, amazing. But what if you could buy it <laughs> with a 30% discount? What if your store had these prices and you could just buy it, you know, and then they give a 30% discount on top of it? It would be like something out of a nightmare, right? I mean, you would just rush in. There would be a Black Friday sale. And honestly, there would not be, uh, you know, it's pretty funny. Um, so for every one Rudy, you you must, you know, you have 100 or 100,000. No, yeah, probably 100,000 jades. And the 100,000 jades need to fun, funnel their money to the one Rudy. And that's how it works. Like, not everyone makes money from sealed boxes, right? Even if they have the right... This is the crazy part is this. Jade picked the right boxes. These boxes are incredible. He paid the right price for them. He still got hosed like a mf -er, right? It's just like, whoa. Like, it's so crazy. Crazy, crazy. I mean, you think about it, I scratch my head and I say, wow, that was something else, right? That was, um, because like it doesn't, I, I guess what I need to say is it's just really incredible that this deal actually happened and it was recorded. It kind of reminds me of the, um, the Black Lotus guy who was essentially, um, you know, he had it on Vintage MTG's channel about how he scammed the Asian dude and he was so proud of himself. Where clearly it was a scam, like 100%. Like, and he had videos of himself and then he didn't think anyone would do a background check. And then once they did the background check, they were like, oh, no. <laughs> so when you talk about, um, I mean, you talk about this type of stuff and... It's just, it's just really incredible to see this, to see a video about this. I was actually looking to, um, you know, maybe invest in uh, Pokemon boxes. That's the video I wanted to read. I was, I wanted someone to tell me to invest in Pokemon boxes, uh, and then I came across this video, and I remembered this video for a while back, and I was like, oh wait a second, isn't this the video where a guy like took a massive loss on his sealed box investment? Had he just waited even in one year, the prices would have recovered. I mean, he took a 30% loss. He chose the right boxes. He paid the right price. And still, he lost 30%. Um, now, who made up the difference? Rudy. Rudy made four, he, he made 400% on the majority of these boxes. And that shows you the power of Rudy, right? It shows you the power of s sticking in and not being, not folding. A lot of people folded. Um, and honestly, I think um, when people fold, they're going to lose. And this is true for anyone, right? Um, if you just stuck, if you stayed a tiny bit longer, you weren't worried about the capital as much. Um, you could have been okay. You could have been okay. Um, and that's what I'm finding is selling magic card. Like I, I never sell a card that doesn't go up in price, right? Everything I sell just whoop, straight up in price. So the Rudy method of not selling kind of makes more sense to me. Um, because that method, you just sell. I mean, you don't want to sell. The worst thing you want to do is sell in a we back in. I'm pretty sure Jade bought back in at the current prices. Let's be honest. That's what happened. <laughs> Jade sold at these prices and he bought these same boxes. Um, he bought these same boxes. Actually, you know, I'm looking at Pokemon bulk right now and $6 per each common to uncommon. That's really good. That's like really, really good. Bulk is really, really good. Um, hmm. Maybe I should sell my bulk. How much is bulk? How much does Dariums pay for Pokemon bulk? Yeah, I was one day I was looking at, you know, investing in Pokemon boxes, then came across that video, 
And I'm like, oh. Pokemon bulky is really... Oh, Darium only does 0 .03, so I'll go with this other dude. Not in energy. Special energy is fine. Bulk is considered blah, blah, blah. Yeah, maybe I should buy Pokemon bulk too. That seems like a good deal. Six cents a... Um, hmm. Six cents seems really good, and that's actually I found on Craigslist. Six cents for each card for common, uncommon, 15 to 25 cents for rares. That's actually pretty good, too. Ah, oh, maybe I should contact this dude. Pokemon is on fire. Buying all Pokemon bulk. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Here's another dude buying Pokemon bulk on Craigslist. There's another dude buying Pokemon bulk on Craigslist. My gosh, like, is this the same dude? No, I think it's different dudes because this guy doesn't have his price. Uh, okay, to end this video, don't be a Jade, be a Rudy.